Hi, this is Phone Arena's video review of the HTC Touch Diamond 2. The successor of the popular Windows mobile phone improves on lots of features, but unfortunately, this comes at the expense of design. It somehow looks more ordinary and fails to grip attention, plus it's a bit on the thick side. We do miss the diamond pattern on the back, but the glossy black plastic is still here and it loves smears and fingerprints. Everything about the design of this phone looks too orderly and shipshape, and that makes it less appealing, although it seemed it improved ease of use. Although a bit thinner, all buttons on both its sides feel pleasing to press. Since navigation buttons are also thinner and located in a single row and the touch sensitive proximity area is again a band above the buttons, there is more room to fit a larger 3.2 inch display. It features high resolution of 480 by 800 pixels and despite it delivers meager 65,000 cores, it looks great. Unfortunately, you will find reading what's on the display rather hard in direct sunlight. If you're wondering why you can't see the memory expansion slot, ease off, it's not being omitted, but rather placed under the battery cover. As a whole, the exciting overall look of the previous device has made way to added ease of use. The first gem introduced the TouchFlow 3D interface and we still think it's the best Windows Mobile customization pack yet to date. Just like any other new model, the Diamond 2 also brings out several more or less significant improvements. If you happen not to know much about it, the TouchFlow is a home screen that sports great functionality and most of the time you won't even get to the standard Windows Mobile menus. It features separate tabs that swipe sideways and can be easily switched between with the screen that is extremely sensitive to even lighter touch. The first tab shows the clock and some other information. The new thing here is that clicking on the clock gets you to Comfy World Clock and Alarm tabs. People you call the most can be added to your favorite contacts list along with a relatively large picture and shortcuts to voice dial, new messages and email. Calendar is the only new tab available. It allows you to scroll through your task list for any given date. What we don't like is how the days with events are marked as it could have been done better and more obvious. Weather forecast, if you keep an eye on this, appears when you pick out any of the next five days. The Internet tab now delivers a Google search field and below there are links to Opera Mobile, YouTube app and favorite push pages. When you configure the push pages, you need to choose how often they are to be refreshed so you can take a look at new content in a snap, while if they haven't been updated recently, you will be able to do that manually. The other tabs are pretty much the same and allow browsing of messages and emails, following the stock exchange, going through your picture gallery and accessing your music player. A rather pleasing task manager shows up when you click at the top right part of the screen. Tapping the middle of this line makes the new notifications area appear on the screen. There you will be able to see not only any missed calls, messages, etc., but the available wireless networks in range as well. Nice novelty indeed, since the corresponding interface on other Windows mobile phones can throw you into despair. Click at the top left part of the screen and you will see the new start menu of HTC. It is a grid of 29 large shortcut icons of your own choosing. If you go for all apps, they appear on a vertical scroll list. A brand new feature is to be found in your contacts. The interface looks great and quite out of character of Windows based phones. Names are showed in large fields with a single small pick next to each one. You can scroll the list, pick out the first letter or search any name. Adding new contacts reveals huge most used details boxes that let you use your fingers comfortably. You have to fall back on the stylus in case you need to see all available information fields because that gets you to the standard interface. 
Clicking Contour Contact makes some pleasing information spring up on the screen, but that's just the first of all tabs. The next ones show you all exchanged messages in threaded messaging style, emails, as well as more details on call history. Basically, all communication can be easily accessed in one place, which comes in handy indeed. This is somewhat reminiscent of the web OS and its synergy. The HTC Touch Diamond 2 lends color to the on-screen keyboard design as well. You have a horizontal quality layout, while the vertical one sports different design and buttons in a chest-like pattern. This should make the life of many people a whole lot easier and we like the final result. People who happen to have thicker fingers will most probably fall upon using the stylus. Unfortunately, there are cases when you don't have a choice and we will have to get back to the standard Windows Mobile 6.1 interface. To help ease the pain, HTC has increased the customized menus that pop up when clicking the soft keys. Unlike the Samsung Omnia, HTC doesn't try to pass the Touch Diamond 2 as a multimedia monster. Its camera features a likable interface, but is somewhat uncomfortable to use with one hand, since there is no camera shutter button, but just a software on-screen one. Although picture quality is good, although not something to get ecstatic over. The lack of camera flash tips us off camera won't be any good for taking snapshots indoors. The music player has a quite good interface. Unfortunately, sound out of the built-in loudspeaker is nothing short of disaster and not great with your headset on. We do think it would be great if there was a mini USB to 3.5mm jack adapter in the set so anyone willing to listen to some music could plug in a pair of decent earphones. Things are not looking better when it comes to the video capabilities of the device either. The HTC Touch Diamond 2 can play MP4 clips only, either H.263 or H.264 coded. Video quality is decent at higher resolutions, but we noticed sound lagged behind the video itself, plus we saw the device skip frames at times, both of which made for somewhat unpleasing experience. Installing third-party video players gets you both DivX and Exvid support, but this is something that a number of high-end non-DAT smartphones support by default. Naturally, being a Windows Mobile 6.1 powered smartphone, the HTC Touch Diamond 2 can be further personalized with tons of third-party apps. As a whole, the Diamond 2 proves to be a worthy successor in the lineup and it's not a disappointment, except for the fact it's less innovative alongside of previous models. The Touch brought out both Touch 4 and design that had been hard to imagine by then, while the Touch Diamond featured the awesome Touch 4 3D and even shinier design. The Diamond 2 is more ordinary looking phone, but it's been devised as phone to allow easy use from the get-go, features more robust battery, system memory that makes for faster response, memory expansion slot, and even better interface than before. Throw excellent in-call quality into the deal, and the HTC Touch Diamond 2 definitely is one of the best Windows mobile phones at present. There are other decent alternatives, such as the first Touch Diamond, the multimedia Samsung Omnia, as well as the Touch Pro and Touch Pro 2, both of which sport hardware quality keyboards, but keep in mind the latter has not been released yet. Thank you for joining us. Please take a look at the comprehensive review on phonearena.com where you will also find tons of pictures and a 360 degree view of the device.